Updating SKUs on Walmart made easy. Here's how to do it fast. Also, if you stay until the end of the video, I'm gonna be showing you where to access free Walmart training. I'm Josh Hackett, CEO and founder of EHP Consulting Group, and my goal is to help you stay and become a millionaire on Walmart. The only way to do that is to conquer Walmart together. Let's dive in. Okay, so the first way is to simply edit your Walmart listing and attempt to change the SKU. Now what you can do is just click on the listing and then click edit item. Once you're done editing the item, you're just gonna go in here and just change your SKU. So maybe I wanna change it to case green one, two, three, and then you're just going to click submit. Once you click submit, there's going to be an activity feed ID. You wanna copy that feed ID. If you forget to copy it, just go to your activity feed. It's right here. You can just go here, activity feed, and it'll show up within one to five minutes, the activity feed ID. You're gonna to need to give this to Walmart to help push that SKU through. So I always recommend it. So what you can do is you just go and you say, hi, Walmart, please update my SKU. It is extremely important for my business. And I always like to say, you can fix the grammar on that, but I always like to say because. I already did, I already have an activity feed ID, and then you're gonna put it right here, and then you're gonna put the rest of your product information. So you're gonna put the current, let's see, current SKU, and then we're gonna put case green, and then new SKU, we're gonna put a uh, case green one, two, three, right? And then now you're gonna put some more information in because Walmart's going to ask you for it. So let's go back. So copy your original GTIN number as well. So Walmart might need that original GTIN, GTIN, so copy that. And then they might also need your item ID. And then put that there. Now they've got tons of information and then you can copy all of this and you can go into here and contact support. I recommend to open up two different cases and try to have different reasons. So when you do contact support, you can just select issue categories and try to choose two different categories, open up two different cases, and that way you can be transferred to two different people because Walmart is slow as hell at responding, but they do get the job done when they do respond. All right, uh, but the case, the SKU already updated. I just refreshed the page, already updated, but sometimes it doesn't update. That's why I say just contact Walmart right away. Have that, don't wait, just contact Walmart uh, right away and have all that information because it's easier. Uh, and that's one way to edit the listing. Now there is a second way and the second way is on Walmart's training. You can just type in on Walmart update SKUs in bulk in seller center. So let's do this update SKUs in bulk in seller center. You can Google that. And then it's actually on Walmart's website on how to do it in bulk with the inventory file update. So it says to go to the catalog, click add items. You can download a category report and then you upload the completed template uh, in there. Now this is an old method and it has not been working. That's why I haven't showed you it because Walmart updated their template. So what you would need to do is Walmart might direct you here, but you, need, you can go through and it doesn't work anymore and explain to them that they don't have a SKU update. I'm gonna show you why it doesn't work in a second. So what it wants you to do is go to update items and then go to update with file. You're gonna click show Walmart templates and click update all attributes. And then it's going to have you download a document. So let's get that document. And then if we go back to Walmart, it says that there is a SKU update column. So including there's a SKU update column and you need to put choose yes from the drop down. Now I checked through this whole file. There is no there's so they're supposed to it's supposed to say something like this SKU update and then you're supposed to click type in yes and then you, you put the new SKU. 
uh, but it doesn't have that on here anymore. I don't know why Walmart removed it. They should remove this from their website or maybe there's an old template that a Walmart seller support needs to give to you in order to update it. But I did just show you how to update it yourself and mine already updated. So uh, we can go from there. And of course, for saying towards the end of the video for the free training, you just go to Google and type in Walmart seller training. You're gonna see the second one drop down. It's Seller Academy, Walmart Learn. And this is going to be where Walmart actually has free training for you. I recommend that you go through all of this training. It's just gonna help you in your Walmart journey. And that's it for today's video. If you did learn something new, drop a like. If you're already a Walmart seller, I highly recommend that you subscribe to our channel because we're giving away great content that's gonna help you in your Walmart journey. And of course, if you need help with anything regarding Walmart, contact ehpconsultinggroup.com. This is what we specialize in. Also, our number one service is where we come in. We'll look at your account, create a strategy, create your listings, contact Walmart, and most importantly, help you increase your sales on Walmart. Just contact ehpconsultinggroup.com right in the description for more. I'm Josh Hackett, CEO, and I'm signing out.